All right, this is lesson 11 of Chaos, Fractals, and Dynamics, uh, based on Bob Devaney's book. And uh, today we're going to look at some details of the Mandelbrot set. You know, last time we actually looked at a real nice picture of the Mandelbrot set, uh, made with some software written by Dr. Rick Paris, uh, the late mathematics teacher, uh, Phillips, Phillips Exeter, uh, who wrote Peanut Software, and you can download that by going to by Googling Peanut Software, and uh, it'll take you, take you to the website, and you can download this for free. Okay, uh, one reason his picture is so much nicer than the picture I had, and so much more detailed, is not only that he has more points, but also that he weighted more iterations to determine whether or not a point is in the Mandelbrot set. If you wait for late, 30 iterations and say, okay, 30 iterations, it didn't escape. It didn't get more than two from the origin. That's not bad, but what will happen will be you'll get a lot of points that are said to be members of the set, which are really not. So you get some fraudulent numbers that you graph that you would graph as black. The more you wait, the more time you give, the more those interlopers escape and you don't graph them. So he's waiting like 30,000 30, iterations here, I think to see if points are in or not in the Mandelbrot set, which means you get a nice, a prettier picture of the cardioid is very clear, as is this uh, circle. Okay, and you probably might recall that uh, this was the period one cardioid, because every point in this period eventually converts. This was the period two bulb, because every point in this period eventually becomes a two cycle. Period three, eventual three cycles. Period two, period three, one between them is period five, because three plus two is five. Between two and five is seven, two plus five is seven. Between seven and five is 12. Let's see if I can get it. Whoops, nope. There it is. Between seven and five is 12 and uh, so on. There are an infinite number of these bulbs because there are an infinite number of possibilities for the period. And so we're seeing, we're not seeing an infinite number of them, but we're seeing a lot of them. The only way we could see more of them, of course, would be to zoom in on this, and I'd like to do that now. Okay, I'm going to come to this region right here, right uh, just on the border of the uh, cardioid, right click, and you can see this is the region I'm seeing graph now. And, oh, I lost that. Let's see if it comes back. There it is. Okay. Um, and what I want to do is come up here, and I want to show the period just as I did before. These are the guys who escape in eight repetitions, 9, 10, 13, 19, 26, and so on, 37. And But I want to look at the periods here, period 9, period 18 bulb. And you can see each of these bulbs actually have their own doubling, period 36, period 1, period 11, and so on. I can continue to zoom in. And as I do so, I notice something kind of surprising, interesting. Okay, this is a period, this is the period, um, let me go back here. Uh, show the period here. This is the period 18 bulb. This is period 36, and so on. But notice out here, I've got a little baby Mandelbrot set, it almost looks like. Okay? And if you look closely, you can see there's a connecting line here. You can barely see between this bulb and that little baby Mandelbrot. That's because the Mandelbrot set is everywhere connected. So any black region, this one, 
this one. They're all connected, sometimes by little small fibers, but they are connected. Remember what said is connected. Watch if I zoom in on this guy here. Here we go. Now he looks like, this region looks like the um, big picture that we saw. It looks like the uh, cardioid with a circle attached to it and all the bulbs. And so you might begin to think, oh, this is a copy of the original. That's not true. If it was a copy, then we'd say, oh, this is a fractal, because fractals are self-similar, which means you can see the same basic object when you zoom in that you see with the big one. But in this case, this is kind of a pseudo-fractal. It looks the same, but it's different. So metal set is actually almost the opposite of a fractal. A fractal is everywhere self-similar, and we'll define self-similar better later on in this little set of uh, lessons, but it's everywhere non-self-similar. It's different everywhere, but kind of uh, resembles itself at the same time. And one way we can tell it's different is we come up here, our buttons, and we show the period. We click there. You can see that's not a one cycle. That's a 27 cycle. This is a 54, so you still see the period doubling. This is an 81. 54 plus 81 is 135. And there are an infinite number of these little baby metal broats strewn throughout the big picture down there. And the more you zoom in, the more of them you see. The only thing that keeps you from seeing more and more is your ability to zoom in, which is limited by your graphing, um, the accuracy of, of, of your graphing, how small your pixels are. And also there are time limitations because to get accuracy takes more and more iterations. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on one more region. You see this little dot right out here? Yeah, we're going to zoom in on that. And not surprisingly, we see that it's the baby Mandelbrot. And let's look at the period. It's a period 3, which means this period doubling. This will be a period 6. And this will be 9. 3 times 3 is 9. And again, the more you zoom in, the more detail you see. And it's really, really nice and pretty. And you'll notice there are little black spots you can just barely see all the way out here. They're all connected by nice fiber because all the Mandelbro set is connected. There's our period 3, there's our period 6, there's our period 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 and 15 is 36. So sure enough, there's a period 36 bulb and so on. Um, so there you have some zooming in on the Mandelbrot set. We're not really explaining what's going on right now. We're just looking at it and kind of um, mapping it out to see what it looks like. And that's all for this lesson. We'll come back and do a little more in the next lesson.